Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to 2023 and the colour violet. So we're in for a number seven year for 2023. So seven is all about the crown energy. So we're going to be dealing a lot this year with crown energy, things that are going on in our heads, not at a day-to-day -day level, but at a more esoteric level. So all of you spiritual beings out there that are on your spiritual journeys, this year is going to be much more powerful and connected to the spiritual. So you'll be using a lot of your energies to actually tap into the angelic realm and tap into the unicorns, tap into maybe even more galactic style and star seed information. So that's definitely what we can see throughout this year that we're actually going to be raising our vibrations higher. This colour is the last colour on a visible spectrum for us in human form to actually see the colour. There are insects and animals that can see outside of that uh, into the higher frequencies, but this is the last colour that we can physically see in the human form. So it's going to be a year where we will, things will be coming from out of this world. So we may see quite a bit more, as we say, galactic or things going on in the universal energy. Definitely a fantastic year for raising up the vibration. So if you're working with healing, you're going to feel that your vibration is rising, you're connecting into different energies. We really are in a time where frequencies um, are are really important. So anything like colour therapy, anything to do with Reiki, anything to do with sound, anything to do with vibration will actually really step forward this year. And I think we can, we'll can we see that on a level as healing as well as just for everyday existence. That means it'll become a little bit more mainstream, which of course it was always mainstream. It's ancient and it's old. Um, but instead of it being about the pharmaceutical industry and the science, the yellow, it will be about how we can actually channel those frequencies and channel those vibrations. It's also a colour that emotionally is quite empathetic and very compassionate. So I also think this year we're going to see a strong wave of spiritual gentleness coming in. So people are going to become more compassionate. I think in the indigo for last year, it was all about our ancients drumming that beat. Now we're coming into a more compassion counselling way. So we can be gentler with those folk around us. This is a high frequency, high speed colour. So things will be moving along quite quickly. And we are going through a mega transformation as a planet within the universal structure and that's been going on for a few years now but very much in the more physical now we're going to start to see transition taking place in in much more of the the everyday when we move to 2024 we're moving into magenta and that is purely about transformation and we know from an astrological point of view that pluto has been in capricorn for many 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 years and now is dipping in into the Aquarian side uh, for a few months this year. And that's where it's going to touch on all new things, new technologies. And yes, we will be talking about AI, but want to see the positive of what AI can bring us instead of anything negative. And they both go hand in hand. And this colour is sees things in grey. So it doesn't see things quite as black and white. So in our indigo year, we saw things happening that were one way or the other way. This year, I think we can see things melting a little bit more together and there's actually no real right and wrong. So we will start to transcend into that fourth dimension and, to, well, towards the fifth, we're in the, we can see the fourth, but to that fifth dimension where we are a bit more open with our views around things because we do have that compassion and that empathy and that very grey area. What I think we have to be aware of with this colour is it can be quite an addictive colour. 
So you might find that things become a little bit addictive this year once you put your mind to something. And when it's positive, that's fantastic because it becomes focus. Um, but when it's negative, it can become that little bit addictive. And because we're raising our vibrations, we have to also start to really think about what food we're eating. I definitely am looking at that from a health perspective, much more with my weight as a health instead of it purely about a visual perspective. And the higher the vibration we go, the more certain foods, alcohol, things like that will not be able to actually linger in our body. And this year we're really going to feel it if we're in that super sensitive uh, uh, energy. We also have to be aware that it could be quite chaotic. Um, Violet, because it's empathetic and gentle, can also be a fairly manipulative colour. Just think of Cadbury's and the bars of chocolate when you open it up. It's got all of that uh, rich chocolatey flavour inside. So Violet can sometimes cover things like addiction um, to be uh, something that we would feel that we really need, like chocolate, like sweet stuff, like sugar. But I really think that they're the things that we're going to learn about and know what impact they're actually doing on our system. And for those that are aware of that and are actually using this violet energy in a positive way, you'll be able to overcome things. Once we get to March this year, January, February are a repeat of November, December of last year. January will be a magenta month with a violet drop back. Have a look at my video for that. And February will be a gold month, which will be the same as December. So I think there are some repeat things going on in January and February. And you might find that it's quite difficult to get your momentum started. But once we get into March, Pluto moves and we become the colour red. And red is new beginnings. And we can start then actually bringing the things in that we need to. So I would use the first two months of this year planning, looking at what needs changing, ending things that you no longer need, looking at sorting out maybe anything to do with your health and fitness, anything to do with maybe a, a love affair that's not working for you, uh, maybe to put some new rules down and boundaries about family uh, and friends. So you've got lots to look at in January and February, but you'll have the whole of those two months to actually deal with things. Come March, that's it. We're away. The boat is going to start sailing. And I think we're going to find that's quite a fast energy because we'll have the sensitivity of the violet along with the red. And then we go red, orange, yellow, and we build up towards the end of the year. And once we get towards the end of the year, we might have a few more challenges because, again, they come from our frequency, our higher selves instead of our physical selves. So I'm wishing you an amazing violet year. I think we can use this colour very powerfully. Remember, it's empathy and compassion, but not to the extent where it's actually manipulation. And I think the inspiration, this is a year to meditate, this is a year to channel. If you really, really allow your higher self and your connection to source to take shape this year, wonderful things can happen because come 2024, everything is going to transform. I wish you health, wealth, happiness, and an absolutely wonderful 2023. Do catch my monthly videos and I'll tell you about the colour with the backdrop of violet for each month. Thanks for watching.